Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky is in US to present his so-called victory plan to Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and former President Donald Trump. But before this meeting could happen, Trump has already dropped a bombshell on whom he called the greatest salesman in history. On Monday, Trump said in a rally that Zelensky was praying to keep Democrats in power because he knows that Trump 2.0 will work towards ending the war. In other words, Trump said he won't tolerate Zelensky's belligerence if voted to power. Trump said, I think Zelensky is the greatest salesman in history. Every time he comes into this country, he walks away with $60 billion. He added, he wants them to win this election so badly, but I would do differently. I will work out peace. His statement came a day after Zelensky arrived in the US on Sunday to attend the UNGA sessions and urged his partners to help achieve a shared victory for a truly just peace. But Trump and his running mate J.D. Vance have been working out a peace plan of their own, one which has already been dismissed by Zelensky. During an interview on the Sean Ryan Show podcast on September 11th, Vance detailed his plan for Ukraine and said, Ukraine retains its independent sovereignty. Russia gets the guarantee of a neutrality from Ukraine. It does not join NATO. It does not join some of these allied bodies. That is what the deal is ultimately going to look something like. He added that their peace plan would consist of pushing peace talks and creating a heavily fortified, demilitarized zone on the borders of Ukraine and Russia. Vance and Trump know that peace in eastern Ukraine cannot be achieved until and unless these guarantees are given to Putin. But guess what? Instead of showing some respect towards Trump and Vance, given that he has taken more than $50 billion in aid from their country, Zelensky shamelessly declared Vance too radical and said he has come out with a more precise plan to give up our territories. His message seems to be that Ukraine must make a sacrifice. This brings us back to the question of the coast and who shoulders it. The idea that the world should end this war at Ukraine's expense is unacceptable, Zelensky declared. The cunning puppet also tried to show that Vance and Trump were not on the same page on Ukraine war. He said, Vance's mission was merely sloganeering, whereas Trump expressed support for Ukraine during a phone call. Baliko Zelensky then encouraged Vance to read about World War II and compared Hitler's mission to conquer territories in Europe to what would take place if Ukraine were to give up territory. Earlier in June, Zelensky had also mocked Trump saying working with him would be hard work. Well, yeah, Trump would never lavish billions of taxpayers' money on Zelensky without setting accountability and a plan in place. Zelensky knows, just like his career in comedy, his career in politics will end with the war in Ukraine. So he is rooting for Kamala Harris like no one else to stay afloat himself and keep his war machinery up and running.